In this video, we're going to talk about how to use absolute cell references when performing calculations in Excel. So let's say we have uh, these two columns of data, and we want to multiply the information in column 1 by column 2. So we can start by selecting cell B5. Let's multiply it by cell C5. So 15 times 18, that's 270. And if we click this button on the right, on the bottom right, and if we extend it, we can multiply the entire uh, column data one by uh, the data two column. Now, let's say if we have some number in a cell E2, let's say it's 30. And we want to multiply data one by 30. So we can type in equal B5 times E2. And so that's 15 times 30, that's 450. But notice what happens if we try to extend it for the entire column. Notice cell D6 doesn't show the value for 28 times 30. So what happened here? What's going on? Well, to see what's happening, let's look at the formulas. You can probably see it here, but if you go to Formulas and then go to Show Formulas, notice that it's not always multiplying by E2. Here we have B5 being multiplied by E2, and here B6 is multiplied by E3. And cell E3 doesn't have uh, anything. And so what we can see is that all the numbers are changing, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. So we need to change it from a relative reference to an absolute cell reference. So how can we do that? Now we could change everything to E2, but is there a way that it will always be E2 once we uh, use this button and fill it down to the rest? Well, let's go back to formulas. Let's click show formula and let's delete this. What we need to do is create an absolute cell reference. And if you put a dollar sign in front of the letter E and in front of the two, it's going to lock that cell once we extend it. So now let's click the button on the bottom right and then extend it. So notice that we're multiplying data one by 30. So if you go back to show formulas, so this time, notice that we always see E2. It doesn't go to E3, E4, E5. It's locked uh, in cell E2. And so that's one way you could use uh, the absolute cell reference feature in Excel. So if you want to multiply by a certain cell, and if you want to extend it without changing that particular cell, you could use the absolute cell reference by putting a dollar sign in front of the E and in front of the 2. If you put it in front of the E, it's going to be locked across columns when you copy it. And if you put it across the 2, it's locked across rows. To illustrate this, let's go ahead and remove the dollar sign in front of the E. And let's extend it. So notice that it remains E2. As we copy it across rows. So it still worked. It didn't change. Now let's see what's going to happen. If we put the dollar sign in front of the E. And now let's extend it. Notice that it didn't work. It wasn't copied across rows 6, 7, 8, and 9. So if you want to copy it across rows, you need to put the dollar sign in front of the 2. If you want to copy it across columns like this, you need to put the dollar sign in front of the E. And that's if you want to do one but not the other. But if you want to do both, just put the dollar symbol 
in cross, I mean, in front of the E and the 2. And so that's how you could use absolute cell references when extending a formula across a bunch of rows or columns. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.